And I think it is a feeling that we are starting this global effort here with our friends in Japan because when it comes to, when it comes to development issues like girls' education, our two countries share a unique history, as you've heard. President John F. Kennedy launched the Peace Corps back in 1961. That inspired youth uh, that that inspired youth groups that inspired youth groups here in Japan, who helped who helped found GOCV, which is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. And today, President Kennedy's daughter is proudly serving as America's ambassador to Japan. And we are renewing our agreement for Peace Corps and JLCV volunteers to work together on issues like girls' education. As Mrs. Abe said later this week, I'll be traveling to Cambodia, which is one of the first countries where Let Girls Learn will operate. And I understand Mrs. Abe just made her own visit to Cambodia, where she focused on youth and education issues. And we are both so excited to highlight the work that Peace Corps and the JLC volunteers are doing in that country and so much so many others how they are together how they are coming together to model the values of our nation values like fairness equality openness opportunity and i'm reminded of something that president kennedy once said about yeah, um, young people who want to join the Peace Corps. He said that they are a light to all who seek a peaceful world. And I think that is just as true today as it was 50 years ago, especially when it comes to educating girls. So many young, uh, so many women leaders in developing countries business women, politicians, professionals. They can trace their journey back to the Peace Corps and the JOCV volunteers who invested in their education. The story of a woman named Anastasia M. Sosa from Malawi is a perfect example. When Anastasia was a girl, the JLCV, the Peace Corps volunteers came to teach at her school in Malawi. And Anastasia was struck by their kindness and their generosity. Inspired by their encouragement, Anastasia went on to build a professional legal career. And today, and today, she eventually became the first female uh, Chief Justice of Malawi's Supreme Court. In reflecting on the impact the volunteers had on her, had on her life, uh, Chief Justice M. Sosa said, and uh, this is her quote, she said, the volunteers, the volunteers shaped me into building up to be what I am. She said, the time with the uh, volunteers, uh, she said the time with the Peace Corps volunteers helped me to have dreams. Now, um, Prime Minister Abe and Mrs. Abe talk about uh, talk about building uh, a society where uh, women shine. 
And I think this is what they're talking about. Uh, they are talking about letting the power, the genius, the creativity of women shine.